ป้าป้าGood morning, everyone, or good morning-ish. It is 11.07 right now, so it's closer to the afternoon than morning, but whatever. It's another day in 2023 paradise. Let me put you down. I'm gonna have a little something to eat. I don't need it. You guys, I really miss our morning yogurts when I was pregnant. If you watched my preparing for baby vlogs and uh, we had our morning yogurts together, those were the good old days. <laughs> Uh, but I'm just gonna have something small because we're closer to lunch than breakfast. So I'm gonna eat lunch here in like an hour. So I'm just gonna have something really quick, just something to hold me over. I think I'm just gonna eat this little yogurt bar thing. I haven't even talked about what we're doing today. <laughs> so today, I figure we do a spooky mom vlog, I think I'm calling it, or just a day in the life of a spooky mom. <laughs> we just kind of hang out today. I'm pretty sure we're staying home most of the day. I think we might take Lucian to go look for his very first Halloween decorations. I mean, we took him before, but we didn't see anything, but I know at home has Halloween. And the rest of the day is probably just another day of us trying to figure out parenthood. <laughs> All right, I had to finish my yogurt bite because I felt like I was smacking my jaws so loud. <laughs> uh, but basically in this video, it's just a spooky mom vlog and we're gonna hang out, we're gonna catch up. Anyways, I need to make my coffee. Clearly, I need coffee. This brain is not functioning today. But before I forget, I wanna take my postnatal vitamin. I need to take that this morning. And I've been taking these Ritual postnatal vitamins, uh, which by the way, this video is sponsored by Ritual. So thank you, Ritual, for sponsoring this video. And if you remember in my preparing for baby vlogs, I was taking the Ritual prenatal vitamins. Well, they also have postnatal vitamins, which I got all excited about because I definitely wanted to try these now that I'm now that I'm postpartum. Uh, but I had no idea that the postpartum period was even more nutritionally demanding than actual pregnancy. I had no idea. So anyways, with the Ritual Essential Postnatal, you take two capsules that provide you with 15 essential nutrients after pregnancy. Ritual's point of view is that anyone who has recently birthed a child, whether you choose to breastfeed or not, deserves to feel supported in their body as they navigate those first few months. And also Ritual is a brand I can trust because of their transparency, from where they source their nutrients and why, to their environmental impact, which they use 100% recycled materials. And even the mailers are made from recycled newsprint and plant fibers. They even use plant-based ink. And Ritual's Essential Postnatal contains important ingredients such as vitamin C and zinc. They're also vegan-friendly, non-GMO, gluten-free, allergen-free, and contain no added sugar. They also offer a multivitamin for women and men, also teens, 50 plus, and a prenatal vitamin, like I mentioned before. And all their products can be delivered straight to your door, which is super convenient. They don't just offer vitamins, they also offer a protein and a symbiotic. If you're wanting to try Ritual, of course, I have a steal of a deal for you. You can get 30% off your first month with Ritual if you scan my QR code, which I'll have right here on the screen, or you can go to ritual.com slash jadethelibra30 and use code jadethelibra30 to get your 30% off. I'm gonna take my postnatal vitamins before I forget, because I know I will. I, I would forget my head if it wasn't attached at this point. I'm not gonna lie. All right, what mug are we going with today? Should we go with the bats or Beetlejuice or pumpkins? Skeleton, what is this? Strong enough to wake the dead, you're the one.
All right, we've got our coffee. Cheers. Let's take our first sip and hope it goes straight to the brain is what I'm hoping. <laughs> so anyways, I figured we could go up, see where little baby Lucian's at. If he's awake, if he's asleep. If he's awake, maybe we'll play a little bit on his play mat. If he's asleep, I'll probably start getting ready. We're gonna go look at some Halloween decorations. And also today at some point, my goal is to go through baby Lucian's clothes, go through his dresser and take out all of the newborn stuff. <laughs> this is gonna kill me. So that's why I figured y'all would help me, but also uh, fit in little areas where we can catch up, like updates on Lucian and his heart and also my ankle and maybe a little nighttime routine in there. I don't know, we really don't have any routines right now. We're kind of just following Lucian's lead right now. All right, we're gonna go up and see what Lucian's doing and I don't know what we're gonna do from there, but. We're just winging it. Here we go. Yeah. What is that? Is that you? Yeah. Are you so concerned? It's okay. Oh, oh, oh. That's why you're concerned. It's okay. Let it out. Mom will change your diaper. Stomp, stomp, stomp. There you go. Get it, bud. Get it. With your little skeleton legs. Get it. Who do you see? All right, here we everyone. We're back in this mess of all messes. I feel like I need to do something about this today. We might conquer this. It'll either be in this vlog or I'll be doing more vlogs here coming up. Just updating you on things. And we're kind of using my side of the sink as if we have double sinks. We're using my side of the sink as it's kind of like a bottle station kind of thing where we have bottles, pump parts, all my sanitizers or sterilizers or whatever, and little wash basin, like a whole little station going on. I feel like I need to organize it a little bit better and get this all cleaned up. Like there's just random stuff, like all this random formula that the hospital gave us and stuff that we thought we might be using, but we are seven weeks in and I don't think we're using that right now. So we're at least gonna, I, I don't know, maybe I should just store it away for now in case we need it. Anyways, figure we do some makeup. I don't know, I've just been trying to throw on what I can when I can. So if I can do a fancy look, if I have some time, I'll do it. And if not, I don't, I don't even worry about it. So today we're not worrying about it. We're gonna try to do something pretty quick. And if you hear some grunting or squealing or anything like that, it's cause Lucian is, he's been fighting his naps lately. And it's like, he sleeps great at night, which I'm thankful for. Like he sleeps in four hour intervals, but, uh, and he usually sleeps too in the morning. So we can go back to sleep. And sometimes we can sleep till nine or, 8.30 or something and that's ideal. I don't know why I'm putting on these strong brows. We don't need to be doing strong brows. Just something, just a little light something. So I don't even know what I'm talking about. What planet am I on? Can somebody tell me? <laughs> Throwing on a little something just to freshen up because I usually feel a little bit more human when I have, uh oh. Oh, a baby cough or sneeze or combo. <laughs> Anyway, so I was gonna do a quick little update on what's been going on with me. We're gonna do a Lucian update. I've got some stuff to do in his nursery, like I mentioned before. So um, I'm gonna do a little Lucian update while we're going through his clothes. But as far as what's been going on with, I think the last vlog I mentioned, and that was a while ago, uh, I hurt my foot on my first day home from the hospital. I or it was my ankle, like it's between my foot and my ankle, it was kind of that whole area there. And I fell on the stairs coming into my house and busted my ankle slash foot slash whatever. And I was in a boot, <laughs> like one of those full on boots. And luckily I got that thing off right in time for Halloween decor hunting season because we were gonna have Dallas and Lucian driving us all over town if that thing wasn't coming off yet. So we got that off. Uh, my foot slash ankle is so much better. I still have a nasty looking scar slash, the scab came off, but it still looks all gnarly. So like bruise slash whatever, just skin damage. I don't know what it is. I will say 
tending to a newborn with a freaking boot on was less than ideal, but we did it somehow. Oh, and also I have to tell you something else that happened. <laughs> so in the total chaos, um, I busted my ankle. We were going to the NICU every day. What else was going on? There was something else that happened. Just all the chaos was happening per usual. I think it was like week two, maybe week three. I go to, I get up, it's like four o'clock in the morning, my usual time to kind of, I have to pump and get bottles ready and everything. And I go to turn on the water to wash a bottle and there's no freaking water, y'all. Not one little drop of water, not a trickle, nothing. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, what does that mean? I'm thinking there's a water... I don't know, like a pipe or something in my house that bursted and probably the basement's flooded or something like, you know, I was thinking worst case scenario. Luckily, it wasn't that bad. But I'm looking for this, like I can hear the water running and I'm like, where is this coming from? Like, where is the water? And I look out front, sure as shit enough, there in my front yard, right by my sidewalk, there is water gushing down the street, down the sidewalk, all over the place. It looks... It <laughs> It's just everywhere. So we go to turn off our main water to the house to see if that will shut it off. That doesn't work. We go to the side of the house where the sprinklers are because we had just gotten our sprinklers turned on. And so I thought maybe that was it. So we go to the sprinkler main, turn that off. Guess what? Doesn't do a damn thing. Still flooding our front sidewalk and our yard and our tree. <laughs> <laughs> I think my tree enjoyed the water, actually. I thought it was going to die, but it survived. It lived to tell the tale, y'all. So anyways, we had to figure out where this was coming from. So we're calling all the people. We're calling, well, not yet, because it's 4.30 in the morning. So nothing is open. There's no way to call anybody. So we just have to sit there with this water gushing down our front lawn, onto the sidewalk, everything. And just sit there for a couple hours until everything opens. And we're just... There's nothing we could do. We had no running water with a newborn, which was perfect. And where's my, oh here, it's right in front of my face. <laughs> uh, what was I talking about? The water gushing down my sidewalk. <laughs> so we have to figure out who it is. Like, is it our sprinkler system? Is it the city main, like the water main area that's broken, like some pipe or something. And so we call our sprinkler people, we call the city and the city's like, oh, it's our fault and we'll fix it right away. So these huge trucks pull up in front of our house and like over our lawn, like in the grass, there's some huge metal tube. They have to dig up my yard. This is all happening with a teeny tiny newborn, by the way. Oh my gosh. And so they dig up our yard, they dig up everything, they get into the ground and they come up to our, our door and they're like, oh, by the way, it's your sprinkler system. <laughs> And we're just like, what the hell? Like, this is just not, this is not going well. So anyways, they're like, we're going to fix it though. Cause that's our bad. We thought it was us and we dug up your whole yard or something. I don't know what the whole story was, but they fixed it. And now we have a big pile of dirt in front of our yard because there's been like no rain. So it's just a bunch of dirt with random weeds growing out of it now, which is just perfect. And so that's, what was happening also that happened in the process of a newborn slash also trying to get all those shirts out, the Sleepy Hollow shirts, all this was happening at the same time. <laughs> oh man. So that was fun. So that was just to add to the whole, the whole thing. I can hear, it sounds like Lucian is laughing at me as he should be. I don't know what I'm doing. I put on too much eyeshadow. That was not the plan. But here we are, just trying to look less dead or more dead or I don't know what's appropriate. This is a spooky mom vlog, so both are appropriate. <laughs> uh, and mainly I've just been wearing a bunch of hoodies and stuff around the house and keeping my air conditioning turned up, up. The temperature turned down, but the air conditioning turned up um, because it's just easier to pump because I'm mainly pumping at this point not really nursing a whole lot because it's really nice to have some help so dallas can cover some feedings and i was nursing just for comfort but i i like like you know before he would go to bed and stuff but 
I like knowing, I'm not gonna lie, I like knowing how much milk he's getting so I can have an idea before he goes to bed. Like if he doesn't drink a lot and he wakes up, then I know he'll want more. But if he drinks a lot and he's fussing, he probably wants something else or he's gassy. Like I have a better sense of his cues when I kind of can gauge how much he's eating or drinking or whatever, same thing at this point. And pumping is not for the week. I'll say that uh, because it is a full-time commitment every two to three hours, which I'm more like every three to four hours, I'm not gonna lie, but it's a full commitment, especially at night. And now that Lucian is starting to sleep longer stretches, I also wanna sleep those longer stretches, <laughs> but I have to get up and pump. So it's a full-time commitment and I don't know, I'm just building up a freezer stash and hoping, hoping I can build a big enough one to where I can stop pumping eventually one day <laughs> and i do the night shift primarily because i have to pump throughout the night so i try to pump and feed lucian at the same time so we can like our timing can kind of overlap and then we can both go back to sleep and so um but during the day dallas can do the majority of the feedings and then i can get some stuff done or like we kind of take shifts which has been nice and that's been like i just it's so even though pumping is a commitment, <laughs> uh, having the help is worth it in the long run because I can either take a nap or get things done or whatever we need to, I don't know, whatever I need to do. So so anyways, we've been done. Now we're just jabbing our jaws. So uh, we're gonna collect the, well, if he's sleeping, we're gonna wait a minute, but we're gonna collect the baby and the husband. We're gonna get in the car and we're gonna go cruise into at home, see if they have any Halloween. Yeah, I got two of those in different mm -hmm. sizes. Yeah, I mean, out of all the clothes that we've had for them, I mean, I do like the soft gold navy, like rib jumpers. But I mean, I would say that the burst beads seems to be, it, it's like the nicer quality, I would say. I mean, at least what I, what I've. I totally agree. I've noticed that there are things that like he wants you for mm -hmm. that he doesn't do with me. Yeah. Well, they're saying he wants you for that he doesn't do with me. Yeah. Like he won't cuddle with me like he does you. No. He like likes rocking with me and like when I put on like an audio book or whatever, if I just sit there and rock with him and he'll sit there and look at me, he'll smile, I'll just do this, so he'll go. You're so cute, buddy. I probably do need to work out okay. for the Yeah, I'm the pump. It's a total disaster in here. Total disaster. We better do something about this eventually. Maybe not today. You show everyone your ghosty outfit, Lucian. You show everybody your ghosty outfit. Say this one's from Cat and Jack last year. I can't wait to see what Target puts out this year. I saw the girls and some of the boy stuff is out, but not the little baby stuff. Okay. I know we're excited. We're going to go look for Halloween, bud. All right. So we're in the car. We're on our way to at home to look for Halloween decorations. Little Lucian, look at his little piggy sticking out. He's ready to go look for some Halloween. We're just going really quick because I don't know how much of a window we have today since Lucian is, he's doing this whole cluster feeding, I guess is what it's called, where he eats every hour on the hour and only eats a little bit at a time. Uh, so it's been a little bit exhausting, but we're getting through it. We're getting through it. I think it's a gross spurt or I hope it's a gross spurt and not a permanent thing, but we'll see. We'll see you at, at home. All right, we're here at, at home. Dallas is pushing little baby Lucian. <laughs> here you go, buddy. They have a good amount of stuff in one aisle, but then they have wah, wah. <laughs> What do you think, Lucian? Your first Halloween decorations? Well, that was pretty uneventful. We went to at home. We saw a half of an aisle like we saw last time. And I don't know if this video is coming out first or if the Halloween decor hunting video is coming out first. I'm not sure which one. But if it's not out yet. You'll see everything in that half aisle because I'll show you in that video because we just went there the other day. Now we're going to McDonald's and we're getting some drinks. And uh, I think I'm gonna get a Coke this time. There's nothing There's like a Coke from McDonald's. What are you getting fries? No. 
Your total is 304 at the pay window. Oh, we saw a couple of new things at, at home. We saw some potion bottles, which we saw the skull ones last time we were there, but this time they had some really cool ones, just different colors like green and blue and purple, different shapes, said different things. They're really cool this year. I actually really like the labels on them too. So they said things like Eye of Newt and I think one said Moon Dust or something on it. And then a couple of them were plain and they just had little toppers. Like one had a cute little spider web topper and the other one, was it a witch hat? I know one of them had a witch hat topper. So I might have to pick up some of those. I wanna see what else is out there this year. So I wanna see what other stores have different, like Joann's has good potion bottles every year and I've yet to see Halloween at Joann's yet. So we're gonna, so we're gonna, uh, I just go right and then just go right again and just go through downtown. I can't get this freaking straw in. I don't know. Like underneath that or? Whoa, 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 whoa. Do we have any napkins? Nope. Oh, I have Coke in my crotch. Perks of having a baby is you're carrying blankets and random stuff with you all the time. <laughs> so that is a perk, but uh, the bad thing is I'm currently sitting in pop all sticky in my crotch right now. All right, so we're back home. I'm back in my, hold on. I put on my skeleton pajama pants, which I haven't been able to wear since I was pregnant. And I missed them so much because they're so comfortable. But we're back and I'm heating up some leftover spaghetti from last night, and uh, which is probably on fire right now. And I swear anytime I cook something or a timer goes off or anything, Lucian hears it and <laughs> wakes up. That's all right, I just need to eat anything at all at this point. <laughs> Yeah, mom's eating just really quick. That was a real quick bite. That's right. Mom's just eating real quick. Yeah. We're done, we're done. All right, we're having an Oreo and we're gonna go feed Lucian. Are you drinking your milk, bud? <laughs> Means, how do you feel about it? You get upset when he gets upset, don't you, girl? I know. I know, you get so upset. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. See, are you so protective of your little brother? You don't like him over there? You want him in bed with you? Is that right? Is that right? Is that right, my old gal? Yes. Do you want to take a nap? You want to title? All right, hey everyone, we're back. Lucian is finally down for a nap, I think. I may have just heard him. Hold on, let me go, let me, let me check. All right, <laughs> he's awake. <laughs> he just lays there with his eyes open sometimes. So I'm hoping he falls back asleep. He's taken like a 20 minute nap. He's been fighting naps all day. Anyways, Dallas is in our bedroom while Lucian is sleeping. So if he does wake up fully, Dallas will get him a bottle or change him or something and then we'll switch off. We try to do shifts. Anyways, I wanted to come here in the nursery because I need to do a couple of things. I need to take out his newborn clothing. <laughs> <laughs> and store them away in this bin that I have right here until we have another baby maybe I don't know we're still we're about 90% sure we're gonna try to have another one if we can if we can't then that's okay too not right now we're not right this second we're waiting a little bit not a lot of bit because I don't have a lot of time to wait but or maybe I do I don't really know we never know <laughs> I wish we did know, but that's besides the point. I wanted to put his clothes away just in case we do have another one. We will use these clothes again, these little newborn clothes. This is gonna be the saddest day ever. Uh, but I also wanted, so then I wanna move his zero to three month clothing into his newborn area and then move the three to six month up and so on and so forth is kind of what we're gonna be doing. And taking, I don't know what's in this bin. What size is this, six to nine months? six to 12 months on this one. Okay, so we're gonna be putting those clothes down at the bottom, I think, maybe. I wanted to chat also and update you on Lucian because we talked about, what did we talk? <laughs> I don't know what we talked about. It seems like forever ago, but it wasn't that long ago. Uh, but it seems like 500 years ago and it seems like yesterday all at the same time. But, but uh, if you're new here, first of all, welcome to the spooky family. But second of all, 
Uh, kind of what happened is our son, my son was born and he was taken to the NICU due to a heart situation called SVT, which is a rapid heartbeat. I think his heart rate was like 280 beats per minute, like high 200s, which is really fast. And it sounds crazy. Like it sounds like, like you can't even count it. It sounds so wild. Uh, so anyways, Lucian was in the NICU for almost a week and they were tracking his heart rate, making sure it sounded good. He got put on medication. Anyways, we're not really doing anything because I'm talking with my hands. Uh, anyways, he came home and we have to check his heart rate every time we give him his meds, which is three times a day, every eight hours. Um, and at first his heart rate was great. Didn't have any problems or like, oh, maybe he grew out of it and this was just a fluke deal. You know, first couple days of birth, his heart is still figuring out how to work. You know, maybe something like that. No, uh, he went into SVT, so the rapid heartbeat. He went into that, I wanna say it was a couple weeks ago. As he's been gaining weight, basically we've had to adjust his medications. So as he gains weight, he goes back into the rapid heartbeat until we can adjust them and it is so scary whenever you hear it. We both kind of panicked because we were told what to do. We have a whole list of things to do. Uh, I think that's it for the pants. <laughs> These little baby newborn pants just get me every time. Um, but we were told what to do. We had a whole list, but we kind of, because it hadn't happened the whole time we were home, like we had been home for several weeks and it hadn't happened. So we were just like, oh, it was a fluke deal and kind of wrote it off. And so we didn't think it would happen. We had been to the cardiologist, by the way. The cardiologist said everything looked fine. Like the anatomy of the heart is fine. Everything's fine. And she wasn't too concerned about it. So we're just like, oh, okay, this is totally fine. Uh, and then sure enough, goes back into the rapid heartbeat and we are just freaking out. So we had to do all, all of our maneuvers. Like you have to do this thing where, first of all, you have to put ice over his face he hates that. He screams bloody murder. Uh, so we had to put ice over his face and then you have to do these little leg exercises to where he'll bear down and then that's supposed to help convert the heart so it'll go back to a regular heartbeat. Anyways, it's a whole thing that we've been learning about. <laughs> I don't know what half the things mean or are or whatever. Okay, by the way, look how tiny. <laughs> God, I can't believe he was this little. And this was big on him at some point. Oh man. Just gets me every time. I'm gonna put his hat in here. Anyways, so what were we talking about? Um, anyway, so he's in his rapid heartbeat. I hope I'm not boring anyone with this longest story ever, but um, we have to do all these exercises and if it doesn't convert back to a regular heartbeat, then we have to take him to the emergency room and they have to convert it in the emergency room. So anyways, I'm freaking out because it had been 20 minutes and by 30 minutes, you have to go to the ER if nothing has happened, if it hasn't converted back. So we're panicking and just, I'm going through all the paperwork, trying to figure it out, was not prepared, that's my bad, but also <laughs> we're both so sleep deprived, have no idea what we're doing, first time parents. Then of course, randomly, it just, converts goes right back to a normal heartbeat like nothing happened it's wild how it is <laughs> it just randomly switches like that it's honestly i keep saying it's wild but it really is wild uh so anyways dallas and i look at each other and we both just start tearing up and i'm i start bawling and i'm like i just can't imagine something being wrong or losing them or whatever well the good news is svt is very rarely fatal thankfully. But at the time when it was happening, I didn't know that. I had to <laughs> learn that later on. So anyways, we were pretty much scared, horrified, devastated. Um, it was kind of a setback for us because we were just like, dang it, we thought we were in the, you know, in the clear with all this stuff, but no. So it turns out he had gained some weight, so we just needed to adjust his medication and he's gone into it a couple times since then. So he has had episodes and we now know what to do. We have a plan in place and everything, so it's not quite as scary. I mean, it's always pretty scary, but it's not quite as scary uh, now that we kind of know what to do, have a plan, we have everything timed and you know we're keeping track, so all that. And yeah, the doctor has been amazing. The cardiologist, uh, we pretty much are able to get through to her right away if we need to, so that's always really, you know, so that's always a good thing. But yeah, so it's been scary, <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, but he's been better lately. 
and we haven't had any episodes as of lately. But um, as he gains weight, it does scare me, I'm not gonna lie, because uh, we just have to keep upping the medication and you don't know when that's gonna have to happen. So we're just going with the flow and hoping for the best, but yeah. The cardiologist explained to us though that, uh, this is zero to three months, I don't know why it's in there. Um, the cardiologist explained though, it's that a lot of babies grow out of it before a year, so he may grow out of it. And then sometimes it comes back when they're a teenager and you won't know until they're like running track or playing sports or something, um, or maybe you just, existing and then they'll feel a flutter in their chest um, and then there's also a procedure that can be done and it usually like they never have an episode ever again it, it's pretty successful we're 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 not doing that yet we're waiting to see if we even have to do the surgery or procedure or whatever so anyways that's kind of that we're waiting for a year and then once he's a year old we're gonna try to uh, not wean him off the medication we're just not going to increase it so that's the plan and we'll see how it goes. We're just taking it day by day, but he's doing really great. And by the way, when it's happening, he, nothing happens. He doesn't act weird. He doesn't get irritable. He doesn't do anything. He's just being normal. So there's nothing that tips us off to it. You just have to be at the right place at the right time, listening to his heart or feel like you can feel it. And that's it. Everything else is, you just don't know. But every time he's had an episode, it only lasts about 15 to 20 minutes, so it never lasts the full 30 minutes, so we don't take him to the hospital, because it seems to convert on its own. <sighs> oh man, it just it's adding to more of the chaos around here. No big deal, everybody. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a whole experience. I've been loving motherhood, by the way. It's been, I don't know. It's not what I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know if I would love it. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I Kind of in the back of my mind, I was like, what if I don't? Because it was never one, I've said this before, but I didn't have that, you know, some people at a really young age, they just know they want to be a mom and they just like, they cannot wait. And that just was not my experience. It, I just didn't have that maternal instinct. I didn't think, like, I know I've had dogs and uh, nieces and I love them. Like, and you see a lot of things out there. Like I saw a lot of stuff out there where it was like, where you're like, oh my gosh, the first night we came home i wonder like what did i do i can't believe i did this i want to go back to my old life and which is totally valid experience i'm not here to invalidate anyone or make anyone feel bad or anything like that because that's totally an experience but i thought that would be mine because i didn't have this like i was like i don't know if i'm gonna like being a mom i don't know how i'm gonna feel about it i'm a little nervous but no i love it i've loved it since the day I, since the moment I gave birth, I don't know. Something just happened in me. My whole heart just, just something happened. I don't know, but I didn't think, like I was genuinely scared that I would have um, an experience where I would regret it. Uh, but it's been an amazing experience and I, I've loved every minute of it to the point where I'm like, okay, I kinda, I could do another one. And I'm like, who are you? <laughs> but anyways. But yeah, uh, that's kind of where we're, I don't know what planet we're on. Hi, this guy. Mouse saw something flying. Flit, flit, flit. Eek, mouse squeaked. What could it be? Swooping bats. That's all. Not so scary after all. They're not scary. See, they're smiling bats. That's right. Trick or treaters, hooray. And they sang, trick or treat, giggle and fright. It's fun to be scared on Halloween night. The end. Was that a good one, wasn't it? What? It was a long day, wasn't it? You ready for it, buddy?
Lucian is officially in bed and I'm getting ready to go to bed. Um, I'm currently in a rocking chair because I don't want to wake baby Lucian up, but I wanted to do a proper send off. So thank you for hanging out with me during this spooky mom vlog. I hope you enjoyed catching up. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, cool, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also, don't forget if you want to try Ritual, you can either click on my QR code here or go to ritual.com slash jadethelibra30 and use my code jadethelibra30 to get 30% off your first month with Ritual. Anything else you want to chit chat about down in the comments, we can jab our jaws about whatever, any spooky things or anything you saw in this video that you want to talk about. And yeah, anyways, hope you're having an amazing spooky season so far. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.